Hello, OAS family. It is time for another video, and uh, we are going to do another book review video today. And we've been featuring Narcissus lately in our emails because it is that time of the year. Uh, it is Chinese New Year time, and Narcissus is a symbol of the Chinese New Year. And that has been selected as a symbol for the Chinese New Year for a couple different reasons. One, it blooms earlier in the year. So it, this is right about around the time during the Chinese or Lunar New Year uh, where the Narcissus will be blooming. And two, the, the petal shape and the colors remind people of gold and silver. So it is also a symbol, has been adopted as a symbol of wealth and prosperity. So we are going to review Painting the Narcissus by Chen Wen Ching, and we have uh, uh, referenced this book a couple times in our YouTube videos because it was used as an inspiration source for a, a couple of the lessons that we've released uh, free on our, our YouTube channel on Narcissus. So before we get into the book, we're gonna talk about the statistics. The book is 11 and three quarter inches tall by eight and a quarter inches wide. It has a total of 80 pages, and it has a text in both Chinese and English. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the book here. You can see we immediately are greeted with uh, full color pictures of both uh, an actual Narcissus flower in photograph form and then a painting of um, a collection of Narcissus flowers coming out of a pond. So here we go, get in. So here we're showing some line drawing, and I think what's kind of cool about Narcissus is, is that it's a bulb plant, and it's often uh, painted uh, where you can see the bulb. So I think that makes it interesting. Uh, it has and adds an element, a compositional element that you don't see in a lot of other flowers. So this is sort of uh, showing what it would be like to feature line drawings where the bulb is a very prominent version, and that's that's always going to be when you're going to render a young plant. You're going to show the bulb and you're going to show the, the sprouting. So that has nice symbolism uh, for youth and potential. So we get uh, some ink painting here of some flower buds and then how some leaf techniques. And then here's just ink uh, of a sort of complete flower composition. Some ideas for how to rent, render a collection of... Uh, flower buds, some ideas for the leaves and how they turn, and then an example of sort of a line drawing of the complete Narcissus. So the format of this book is basically the first half is instruction and the second half is sort of inspiration, gallery, final compositions. So that's nice to have both of those in one book, it, it's a nice mix. So once again, we have uh, another outline drawing. So a couple more here, different compositions, one plant by itself, and then one that features three different plants growing together. And then talking about the steps for what they call a clustered complex of Narcissus. Um, and how to render a couple different ones, doing one immediately in front of the other one. Uh, and it's really building this composition from the main element on out. So it's sort of showing you how they would do that by adding more plants to the composition. Now we're seeing our first hint of color in the paintings, where we get this delightful sort of golden center with these white or silvery petals around the outside. And you're starting to get a sense of why it has been sort of adopted as a symbol for prosperity because it does remind you of that sort of gold and silver. A couple different sort of color renderings showing you how the color rendering is done with the outline work. And this is an interesting sort of step-by-step -step where they go through and you can see how they build the flower uh, in a sort of sequential stroke series. A couple more sort of plants, completed plants that you can be used in compositions. And this is a, a different kind of, uh, of Narcissus, one that has um, 
a more sort of feathery or crinkled a flower look. Uh, and it shows sort of the rendering of that, that type of flower. And some more instruction focusing on this sort of what they call a complex narcissus or water linglong. Then we have a nut, yet another kind. Uh, this is a Western narcissus. So the, the ones that have all gold flowers. And showing them side by side here with these real life pictures. So now we get into the section that is sort of uh, finished composition. So you can see now that they've walked you through the rendering of the different elements uh, by themselves. Now you'll see how they place them in composition in finished painting. So we have this sort of nice painting of a bunch of plants inside of a pond. You can see the ripples of the water around the base of the plants. You can see them mixed with camellia, uh, camellia here mixed with Dwarf Heavenly here in these sort of vertical, thinner paintings. Another one where we combine the, the Narcissus with Camellia. Get a nice sort of striking difference in the color there with the red of the Camellia balanced by the white uh, of the Narcissus. With Peony here. And I like this composition because it gives sort of this river uh, flow of like having these little islands where the plants are growing uh, with water surrounding them. With cranes and then with Chinese wisteria here. Another one in combination with this time a pink peony. Ducks and bees with and then with goldfish. So now we see uh, different paintings where we're showing them on um, these uh, papers where we have the textured look against this different type of paper. These more fibrousy papers. Here's sort of a line drawing. There's a very, very nice painting with a rock formation featuring some narcissus in the foreground and other elements that we've seen in some other paintings. Again, here are these uh, more paintings on this sort of like gold or antique colored paper. This line drawing we featured in one of our emails before, so you may recognize it from there. This is a really nice sort of like, I would say like kind of like a boneless fine line style. Not a lot of emphasis on line work here, but you can see through the coloration work that it is that sort of gongbi style of coloration. And then Narcissus with pine here, and then what they call the hundred flowers scroll. With the Narcissus portion being featured. And then another composition here vertically with Camellia and with pine. A couple more paintings on this sort of dark colored antique looking gold paper. And yet two two more featured here. So that is that. So that is painting the Narcissus by Chen Wen Ching. And you can find this book available on our website at orientalartsupply.com. And we appreciate you watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe for more content like this. And we have lots of different content on our website. So we do these book reviews and we also have like free video lessons where we show some painting demonstrations. And we also do discussions about Chinese culture and we talk about materials and uh, whatnot. So if you're looking, if you have interest in Chinese art and culture, you're, you're at the right place. 
Uh, and uh, we invite you to subscribe and uh, like this video and hit the bell notification and leave a comment too. Um, if you want to request future videos or if you just like to give us some feedback, we're always open and uh, looking to uh, hear what you guys are wanting to find out more about. All right. So thanks for watching and we wish you happy painting.